Hey there, good morning to you. Happy February. We've made it to the second month of 2024 and uh, we've had a variety of weather between the beginning of the year and now, but we are changing the script again. We're going to be on this warming trend. We're talking about our next best chance of rain and already this morning you probably feel the difference. Let's get right to it. We'll show you this view coming to us from our studio sky cam overlooking beautiful Corpus Christi. The sparkling city by the bay is uh, looking pretty good. We've got those Texas flags atop the towers showing their beautiful colors. There's a bit of a breeze that will be coming back to the picture for today. So if you enjoyed the lack of wind, uh, well, we're going back to our usually scheduled programming with windy conditions coming up in the forecast. We'll talk about it. 640 your time right now. And as you step out the door, one of the first things you might notice is that it's warmer. You may not need the sweater when you head out the door uh, because we are talking about anywhere from seven to as much as 14 degrees warmer right now versus 640 on your Wednesday morning. Morning. So a pretty big change and we're going to be on this warming trend through the next week, despite the fact that there will be a cold front impacting us uh, over the next couple of days. We're looking at temperatures in the 50s inland. We're a little cooler, but we're reading at 63 degrees at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi here along the coast, just shy of 60 in Port A and Rockport and Falfurias registering 60 degrees as well this morning. So uh, this is a little warmer than we'd expect for this time of the year. But what happens between now and our afternoon hours? We've got to go for that dog walk, right? Our star today, this is Riggs. Picture taken after a successful walk earlier this week. So as Riggs heads out, it's going to be warm fast. So maybe we want to do that walk a little bit earlier this morning because we'll already be in the 70s by the late morning hours. Still feeling okay despite more humidity in the forecast. And we'll have ample sunshine today. Winds picking up though between 10 to 15 miles per hour by lunchtime. And it'll be a southeast to south wind. So it will feel warm and it will feel a bit more humid. In fact, our winds, they've been very light the past couple of days, but we've had that southeast wind direction. Well, things pick up today. And once again, from the southeast, that direction brings us warmth and humidity, catching the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So by 4 p.m., we're looking at wind speeds around 15 miles per hour. Even tonight, when those winds come down, we're going to keep that southeast wind direction on into Friday morning. So the humidity is really going to be on the rise. Check out muggy meter. Uh, you can tell when we have a change, our cold front coming through because that moisture will drop. But we're going to see enough moisture coming back into the mix to get some showers in the forecast. And we've been talking about this time frame all week. It still looks like a late Friday night, early Saturday morning situation where things dry out for the second half of your Saturday and the rest of the weekend. But here's how Future Tracker paints things. Not much for clouds today. We're looking pretty good with sunshine. Those do come back tomorrow morning with some inland fog possible. But heading into tomorrow evening, some scattered showers begin to move in as as we head toward the midnight hour and the early morning hours on Saturday, a line of showers and storms with that cold front will be moving through. So here's a look at the next seven days. Today, sunny, more humid and warm, high of 75 degrees. We're tracking that cold front Friday into Saturday and windy conditions over the weekend, but looking sunny and warm into next week.